Propaganda, The Formation of Men's Attitudes by Jacques Elal, author of The Technological Society. It's got an introduction by Conrad Kellen, KK. It's translated by these two. The book was written in 1960. 1965. This is the oldie goldie. I started the introduction and try to finish it off in this video. Jacques E. Lowe's view of propaganda and his approach to the study of propaganda are new. <clears throat> the principal difference between his thought and most other literature is that he regards propaganda as a sociological phenomenon rather than as something made by certain people for certain purposes. Propaganda exists and thrives. It is the Siamese twin of our technological society. Only in the technological society can there be anything of the type and order of magnitude of modern propaganda, which is with us forever, and only with the oral pervading effects that flow from propaganda can the technological society hold itself together and further expand. <clears throat> Most people are easy prey to propaganda because of their firm but erroneously in erroneous conviction that it is composed only of lies and tall tales. So propaganda is more than lies and tall stories. And what is true cannot be propaganda, but it can. Modern propaganda has long disdained the ridiculous lies of past and outmoded forms of propaganda. It operates instead with many different kinds of truth, half-truth, limited truth, truth out of context. Even Goebbels, who was Nazi, top propagandist, always insti insisted that were mock communiques be as accurate as possible. So the more accurate it is, the more it seems like the more it is good propaganda and not lies and tall stories of the old kind. And the second basic misconception are, is that that makes people vulnerable to propaganda is the notion that it serves only to change opinions. That is one of the sayings, but a limited, subordinate one. Much more importantly, it aims to intensify existing trends, to sharpen and focus them, and, above all, to lead men to action, or non-action, by discouragement, to prevent the opponents from interfering. Therefore, there are various forms of propaganda and he calls his book Propagandes. The plural is one of the keys to his concept. The most trenchant distinction made by Elal is between agitation propaganda and integration propaganda. The former leads men from mere resentment to rebellion, <clears throat> whereas the integration propaganda aims at making them adjust themselves to desired patterns. The two types rely on entirely different means. Both exist all over the world. Integration propaganda is needed especially for the technological society to flourish and its technological means, mass media among them, in turn makes such integration propaganda possible. <clears throat> Alright, and modern propaganda cannot work without education. I'll come back to this in the next video.